We can't stop people from making the journey, but we can require them to come here, that they come here in an orderly way under U.S. law. President Biden unveiling his plan to try to curb the immigration crisis, speaking specifically about migrants attempting to illegally cross the U.S.-Mexico border. And Cuban and Haitian migrants continue risking their lives to reach South Florida by sea. Local 10 News was the one and only station there as hundreds of people were taken into custody on the dry tortugas. The head of the Department of Homeland Security says our immigration system is broken. And a plan to stop the record-breaking number of migrants sailing to South Florida remains to be seen. We have live team coverage for you. Hatzelvella is at the Processing Center in Dania Beach. Janine Stanwood is in Key West. But we begin with Local 10's Glenna Milberg with the president's plan. Glenna. The plan is classic carrot and stick. The plan does make legal immigration faster, smoother, easier, and has stiff consequences for illegal immigration. In South Florida's migrant communities here, there is no appetite for sending anybody back to any country in crisis. For this crisis. Following the law, that's the notion. There are laws to get here legally. The president's plan fast tracks legal pathways and punishes border crossers. Immediate expulsion. With the cooperation of Mexico, no chance for asylum. Unsaid, though implicit in the plan, South Florida's current flood of desperate people coming by sea. They'll be returned back to Mexico and will not be eligible for this program after that. Under tremendous pressures, security, humanitarian and political, President Biden skirted a Congress stalled on immigration reforms by easing the path to legal asylum claims at legal ports of entry for 30,000 people a month from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua and Venezuela, whose numbers make up the majority of the border surge crisis. Those with family ties or sponsors who pass security and public health checks even have a new app to apply for asylum. For illegal crossers, immediate expulsion. That would have been Wilson Bocage, who survived a harrowing journey and got to stay while others he was with were deported to Haiti. It's chance. Luck of the draw. I feel that they're too good for me to send them back in Haiti. Florida's exile and immigrant communities struggle with any plan to send people back to dictatorships, violence, or poverty. This is a, a cruel and an inhumane uh, practice that, that needs to stop. Tonight, Florida Senator Marco Rubio is one who is calling out the absence in this plan for immediate relief for South Florida and the crisis our communities, especially in the Keys, is experiencing even this week. President Biden uh, in his announcement said he is going to Mexico City next week. Ahead of that on Sunday, he will be visiting the border at El Paso it will be his first trip to the border in his presidency, which has been something that his opponents have been calling him out for. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News. On such a big issue. Thank you, Glenna.